just on the way down to reception to meet up with Louie and Darcy. They missed breakfast. We're just hoping that boys don't change our plans again today and that we can stick to what we plan to do. Yesterday we planned to do this camel ride to the pyramids and us girls were all set up to carry on with our plans and the boys were faffing around. So we seem to be sticking to the plan so far and we're off to the Pharaonic village. So yesterday the plans all got changed and then because we were hanging around so long Darcy got burned by the swimming pool and so not really well enough to go to on camels to the pyramids today, so maybe we'll do that tomorrow. And then hopefully after the Pharaonic Village we're going to go to the market. On the way we stopped at the side street where there was a market and you can see on Louis's vlog me and Louis exploring that but I knew Ben would love it as well so I came back to the car and sat with Darcy and we did some people watching and it's just so interesting seeing how people walk differently, carry their shopping differently, carry their children differently, uh, cross the roads, work on the roads differently, yep thrust your toddler out first. Um, it's just so fascinating though, it all works, they all seem to know how to do it. Yep, stick your baby out first, have your granny hold her hand up, a couple of kids having a chat in the middle of the road. But it does, it does all work, yeah, donkey going up the wrong way. But they know how it works. The girls are getting their way today, because Darcy's been on this trip before. Mm -hmm. Three years ago when I visited my friend here. And I think it's going to be a nice cultural, historic experience out in the open air on a boat. Boys. Ancient Egyptian history, as he was pharaoh for 67 years. The nobleman and his wife are enjoying the fresh air in their garden pavilion. Its plowing is the first operation in preparing the land for cultivation. And here we see the plowman with his team and the simple wooden plow. Shadoofs are still sometimes used in the Egyptian countryside. The grain is tossed up into the air so that the lighter chaff or husk will blow away on the wind. Hives were made of pottery tubes piled up in rows, and in some parts of the country, beehives are still made this way. Wooden boats were pegged together with dowels. The building was covered with a thick layer of mud, which acted as insulation against heat, and the pot is dried in the sun for a while before being fired. The earliest looms in Egypt were horizontal. And this is also considered as the first diplomatic marriage in history. But this one could not be the last. Oh. Oh. The last time Darcy came to Egypt, she had a little perfume bottle made for her friend, but it got broken on the way home. So this was a lovely opportunity for her to get another one done with her friend's name written on it in glass. What's quite cool about coming here is that this is where all the Egyptians bring their kids on their days out. Um, so it's uh, full of school kids and people doing their family thing at the weekend. It's really cool.
but it's good.